Am I? I feel like I'm too tall for this frame. Huh. Okay, you two just like sit back and relax and uh, film this video. Hi everyone, so welcome back to my channel. I don't even know what I'm gonna do to my face right now. I just felt like sitting down, kind of doing my makeup and just having a chat with you guys. I don't even know what I'm gonna title this video, but you know what, let's just, let's do this, let's do this. So let's start with primer. I'm gonna be using the new Blemish Rescue Primer by Bare Minerals. This has a slight green tint. I'm gonna apply it down the center of the face and just shearing it outwards. It's much more, how should I say, much more gentle on the skin than the old Blemish Remedy primer. Did I say Blemish Remedy for this? Blemish Rescue? Blemish Remedy. This is new. This has been discontinued. This year has been crazy for bare minerals there's been so many products discontinued in just 2018 alone I think oh my god how many has it been I've lost track of how many products the company has discontinued they discontinued what 60 eyeshadows four different mascara no, three different mascaras um, brow products lip colors, powders, whole blush range, more of the loose mineral blushes. I think, honestly, they have discontinued around 200 products. I think that's a safe bet. It might be actually more, but it's been crazy. It's so stressful. Not because of the discontinued products, but work has been just extremely stressful in general. I'm sure it comes through by the lack of posts, both on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Like, I've just been so, you know, overwhelmed. I'm gonna take a little bit of this. This is the Julep Perkett Under Eye Treatment Brightener. <laughs> and this is in the shade Light. I'm just gonna balance a little bit. It's like a sheer illuminating product. You can use it underneath any concealer or as a sheer concealer if you want, but I need a little bit more help. But this just gives it, it's almost like a, like an illuminating primer, but for your concealer. At least that's how I use it. So back to work. It's been stressful. I've just been like, <laughs> with this constant phase, like since I got back from New York in July I haven't had any time to film and the few days that I have off a week I just want to spend you know relaxing sleeping in doing things that don't remind me of work this has been ugh. I'm about to celebrate my two-year anniversary with the brand I'm happy like I'm well I'm happy with the products that I still love with the brand like I still believe in bare minerals I love and use their products even when I'm not at work so I think that's a true testament of you know I believe in the brand still but management holy crap I can't say much about it but it's been crazy it really has been milk makeup concealer like I'm part of the management team and my like own boutique and the amount of stress that I've been in has been astronomical. You probably wouldn't even think about <laughs> half of the things that have, have, have happened. And you know how the beauty community in general on YouTube is batshit crazy right now? Well, I think there's very similar stuff happening like within brands. It's just, I don't even know, this whole beauty world. I went in two years ago very excited because I love you know makeup I love educating people I love doing makeup on people and you know that aspect I still love and enjoy it's the you know 
business management side that is very draining i know like some of my close friends have been like oh like why don't you just like move on but you know if you want to get anywhere in life you need to have some type of like experience and two years is like the minimum amount of experience to move on to any other position within the beauty industry so it's so weird adulting is so weird like i thought about even like going back to school completing a master's but oh my god it is just like do i want to end up in debt or do i just want to power through and figure things out it's just it's really strange and since I'm the first person in my family to have gone to an American university to have graduated, um, I really didn't have anyone really guiding me in that whole process. So I'm the one making all the mistakes and everyone else after me is learning from my mistakes. So it's just, you know, stressful. It really is. I do have some things I'm looking forward to in September. I'm gonna do Phoenix, Tiamo, LA. I'm gonna go see them again. It's gonna be another Phoenix extravaganza. That's like my form of escapism, like going to concerts, having fun, enjoying myself. And this year, you know, for entertainment and self-discovery purposes, it's been a really great year. I've enjoyed getting the opportunity to travel and go to different concerts, seeing my favorite bands. That has been incredible. It's been, you know, <laughs> such a, um, oh my God, such an indescribable experience for me because going to concerts for myself is like the equivalent of, I don't know, going to church. Like, I'm just like, it's so, it's like an outer, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. It's just such a, experience for me it means a lot more than just going to hear music so i'm looking forward to seeing phoenix again but i'm gonna be so sad because after that stretch of shows like i don't know when i'll see them next because that's the, like that's the end that's the end of this whole tiamo era and then they go back to work on another album and they take a, a break because they deserve a break but um Next time I see them in concert, I'll be in my 30s, which is so weird to think about because I met them, like the first time I met them in person, I was 18, about to turn 19. And like, they've kind of been, <laughs> they've kind of been there through like all the different stages in life. Um, I was in college, I studied abroad, graduated from college, you know now working and then like it's just so <laughs> weird i never imagined like having that type of connection with a band that you know they see you grow up like in front of their eyes it's so strange but i think i really think they assume that i'm much you know younger than i than i am i'm 28 for those of you who don't know i'm about to turn 29 this year and uh yeah i think they assumed that i'm much much younger i know they did the first time they met me but i was like no 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 um the older one oh my god it is so hot i'm like <laughs> i'm sweating sweating bullets but yeah it'll be interesting you know seeing them in my 30s like i wonder what's gonna happen next time i don't know i have no idea but I actually have been thinking a lot, oh, in case you wanted to know, I'm using the Blemish Rescue Foundation in the shade Fair, which is the lightest shade because they don't have Golden Fair for some reason. And this is the best color in this new foundation formula for myself. So I'm the palest one. But what was I saying? <laughs> what was I saying? Um, oh, that I've been thinking a lot about what I want to accomplish next year. So next year I turn 30. Whoa, turn 30. I'm actually really excited. I'm not scared of turning 30. For me, going into my 30s, like, I get so excited because it's a blank slate. Like, I have 10 years of my life to do and accomplish whatever the hell I want. 
So to me, it's quite exciting to be turning the big 3 oh, I don't know, dirty 30, whatever the hell you want to call it. So I'm just very excited. I'm looking forward to it. My 20s, you know, they were interesting. They were very, very interesting for myself. Um, college was weird. There were times I really enjoyed my college ride, but at the same time, I did go to a California State University at the worst possible time where um, when there was a lot of budget cuts, I didn't know if I was going to be able to complete my major or not. I was. I just wasn't able to complete my minor. So it was a very stressful time. The best, like the highlight of my 20s was definitely studying abroad in Paris and living there for um, was it 10, 11 months? That was definitely the big highlight. But then again, it's like I had some really high like points in my 20s and then some lower. So I came back from study abroad. I experienced a really bad case of reverse culture shock, which led me into depression and that whole like stint. <laughs> Can you refer to it as a stint? Maybe. Um, it lasted like I was depressed for over a year and at that point I was still in my in a relationship with my ex a relationship that dragged on for four and a half years almost five and now looking back at it especially now that I have different perspectives on relationships like it just dragged on too long <laughs> it was something that like I feel like once you know you want to commit like you know and I knew, but I think it was very one-sided. But um, yeah, like I look back, I'm like, man, like I did grow, but at the same time, it was a failed relationship. It was, and that was half of my 20s. <laughs> so yeah, being in my 30s really excites me. It's like, I don't have to worry about anything from my 20s. I can just start something new and you know, I don't know, it's exciting, it really is. I cannot wait till next year, actually. I feel like I'll be extra motivated to do great things in life. And talking about next year, one of my goals this year was to travel. And I did that, I accomplished that. I worked so much to be able to afford the trips, but um, it was worth it, don't regret it whatsoever let's see let's set the face this is perfecting male I wear minerals this is what I have but um I was able to accomplish my goals for this year which I'm very proud of but next year my goal next year is to and this is it this has been something that I've been um, brainstorming a lot with my mom but I really want to move out and when I say I want to move out, I don't want to move out and just live somewhere else in San Diego. Like to me, moving out of my parents' house to another place in the same city as them kind of feels like a slap in their face. And I told this to one of my coworkers and she was kind of confused, but within the Mexican culture, and I know Mexico is such a big country, so it varies, but at least within my family and my upbringing, you're you stay with your parents until you're ready to start a life of, the, of your own. Basically, once you get married or have kids. Um, I'm not in a position to get married or have kids at the moment. But I just want to, you know, start a new chapter in my life. And I don't want to start a new chapter in the same place where my parents live because I know, I know myself very well. Even if I do move out and live somewhere else in San Diego, I'm always going to be relying on my parents in some shape or form because they're going to be here for me. And that's something that is just engraved um, in Mexican cultures. Your parents will always be there for you. So let's say I, have a, I get sick. My mom would drive and take care of me. Even if I ask her not to, she will because she's able to. So I just want to, you know, live somewhere else and then it won't leave me any option but for me to figure out how to overcome different challenges 
which I feel like I need. <laughs> Definitely need to kind of be placed in that type of situation. The other thing, and the other reason why I want to move out of San Diego, San Diego is fucking expensive. It is so expensive to live here. You either live in a little shoebox in a bad area of this county, or you end up being stuck with four, five different roommates, maybe, like it's just, it. I feel like it's so inconvenient to stay in San Diego. And to be honest, I love my hometown. I love being in close proximity to Tijuana where I grew up, but you know, ultimately it's not a necessity. Like I can live outside of San Diego and still be fu like fine. So I've been thinking about, yeah, moving not only out of San Diego County, but moving outside of California because LA, I've actually been enjoying LA a lot more now that I'm single, um, but it's not a city where I would want to, you know, live in. And LA is expensive too. <laughs> LA is super expensive and the traffic, like I, I just could not deal with it. Like, I would be so happy with all the concerts, but I just, I, I don't, I don't think I'm an LA girl at all. I'm so sorry for those of you who are, live in LA, but I just don't feel like I f truly fit in that city, into that city. So, San Francisco, I love. If San Francisco was affordable, or the Bay Area in general was affordable, I would go there. But it's not. <laughs> it really isn't. Um, public transportation is better over there, at least in my opinion, but it's just, no, I don't think, at least I don't think it's the right time. And I feel the same way, same way about New York. So I've been looking at other places. I kind of don't want to mention where I've been looking at apartments and just getting an, an idea. I'm going to keep that to myself. Yeah, I've been just like just scouring you know, um, like apartment websites and stuff like that just to get a rough idea to plan accordingly for next year but that's my big goal for next year and to me it's very exciting like once I place a goal and I have something in mind then I don't know I just it'll motivate me a lot more to like you know, deal with the struggles, deal with all the adversity that's like thrown my way, especially now with work, and just like overcome those. Because at the end of the tunnel, I sound so cheesy, but will be, you know, the end goal. Starting my life. <laughs> so, scary, but exciting. I think I've been talking for such a long time. This will be a long video. I apologize, but I just like, I don't know. I want to talk to you guys. I haven't done that in a while. So, um, invisible bronze, bare minerals. I'm using a lot of bare minerals again. It's just almost what I'm like used to grabbing. So, let's just bronze the skin a little bit. This is still my favorite bronzer. Like, look how used up it is. I just freaking love this. Oh, I'm still like sweating bullets. Primer, NARS. Same one that I always use. So next week, I'm so excited <laughs> because one of my really good friends is coming back to live in San Diego. His name is Daniel. He and I started working at Bert Mineral at the same time, the same day actually. So he's like my favorite person ever. I love him. And uh, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be picking, picking him up from the airport. It's gonna be a reunion. He's just like the gay father figure I always wanted. <laughs> like I just adore him. So I'm so, so excited to see him and hang out with him. And we're gonna be working on this new little place because I need some remodeling. And I've been watching way too much Queer Eye. <laughs> so now I feel like I can redo any space. Although well, my space definitely needs some help. Definitely does. But I'm excited to put my skills to use. <laughs> Going to Ikea, rearranging, 
putting up stuff. I'm gonna take the Kristen Leanne Urban Decay palette, which is um, not available anymore, but I just kind of want to use it. This is like the only Morphe brush that I like. It is the E27, which I think they discontinued actually. It's a nice brush, but I don't know. Morphe is just one of those brands that like I, I don't see the hype. <laughs> So I've never actually purchased anything apart from this brush, a buffing brush that I hate, and um, oh, I did purchase a Jeffree Star lipstick that I threw away. I feel like I purchased another um, another brush. Oh, I think it was like the, no, no, no. Yeah, I think it was like the dupe for this one. This is a Sigma brush that I purchased like ages ago, but I also didn't like it, the Morphe version. Let's do, let's do LCW, which is this color right over here. I'm going to do this on the crease. So I know I spoke about this on my, um, on my Instagram, but I'm a chismosa, which is in Spanish. I like, you know, I like gossip at times, not all the time, sometimes depends on what it is. But this whole, you know, fiasco that's happening in the beauty community, like, who saw that coming? I kind of knew something was going to happen because even from far away, like, oh man, it's so obvious that Manny has jumped from person to person to person to person and then he just like, it's just, for me it was very odd seeing him like be all friendly with people and then all of a sudden like, he never saw them together like ever again but to me it was kind of sketchy but I was just like you know it reminds me of a lot of high school to be honest I still haven't watched the Shane Dawson Jeffrey docu series but I've heard it's good I just don't care for Jeffrey Star I don't know I just I just don't vibe with this with this personality it's a little too harsh for me I like watching beauty influencers oh, i hate the word influencers but okay beauty people i love jay kissa i find her very refreshing very just real like whenever i watch her videos like oh man like she would be cool to hang out with um i also really enjoy watching raya leonard i mean they're friends so i of course would enjoy both of them both of them just seem very chill Ashley or Atlee, she's another one that I find really cool. I've also enjoyed, this is like not like blogger related, but was it the Rosie edit or the, the Rosie Huntington Whiteley, like her the model. She launched a new like beauty site and there's actually a YouTube channel and she films videos with different like professional makeup artists and hairstylists. And I just really like the format. It reminds me a lot of like Into the Gloss but maybe a little bit more educational just because you're watching a tutorial. So yeah, I've actually been enjoying that channel a lot. So if you haven't checked it out, I highly, highly recommend that you do. I think you guys would enjoy it. Really do, it's really chill. I like the lighting, the audio is not like too loud or too you know, muted. I apologize for the fan, but homegirl is sweating so much that I need to turn the fan on. Die. <laughs> In a little bit of 13th floor. This over here. Oh God. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? This is like one of those times that like, I just hope mascara brings everything together. Who knows? We shall find out. Oh, the bad call. <laughs> this eyeshadow is a crease shade. Let's go in with a little bit of stay gold. I thought it was just gold. It looks a little bit more like lime green. I like it. Try and get the gold out of my brush. Then I do want to go in with a little bit of TRM. This is not a wearable office look at all. Can you tell that I've been wanting to play with color for a while? 
go. This is the color palette that I'm going with. Just haven't used any color eyeshadows in such a long time. We don't have that at Bare Minerals. It's so infuriating. I'm just like, ugh. Do I want to play with neutrals or neutrals? Or nothing? Just release. At least like one colorful palette. Like, give me something to play with. I mean, I could probably wear this. Actually, I probably couldn't. This is very crazy for our clientele. Alright, so I'm going in with a little bit of Spitfire, this one. Just on the edge. Then, let's do a little bit of Brixton, which is this white. I'm trying to find a brush that doesn't have any... I'll fire up this one. And I'm gonna pop this in the inner corner. It's a little bit bluish. Black eyeliner is black eyeliner. I'm gonna put that up here. Black liner on the waterline. For mascara, I feel like using this. I haven't reached for the mostly a big mascara in a really long time. So let's do this. Maybe I'll get reminded why I purchased this. Oh man, it is nice. <laughs> It is really nice. So this was a um, an Alana Davidson purchase. You know what? Now that I apply the mascara, like this looks pretty colorful. But I like the way it looks. I really like it. I mean, it totally doesn't even go with my little strawberry blouse from Madewell. But. It's unexpected, you know? So I'm gonna go in with Hourglass Blush in the shade Dim Infusion, which is one of my favorites. Just gonna add it right over here. Oh man, these Hourglass Blushes. I had stopped using them, not because I dislike them, but because I have so many of the Gen Nude blushes by Fair Minerals. But these are just, oh, they're so nice. This is by Lancome again one of the Lapsolu lacquers and this one is in 274 forgot the name of it I'm gonna use this on my lips this is also an Alana Davidson purchase it's really nice though I'm also gonna line my lips very very softly with This lip liner from MAC. Yeah, this is the look that I came up with. I had no plan of going this dark. It just kind of happened. <laughs> but yeah, this is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for just hearing me out. And I know it was a very rambly video. But if you stuck around, thank you for sticking around. <laughs> I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. I am for sure, well, I'm going to try my best not to make it as rambly as today's video, so thank you guys so much once again, and I'll see you very soon. Bye! I just hit myself. That was so... <laughs> that was so typical of me.